What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Toy Addict 17 and on today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Voorhees figure by NECA Toys. This figure already looks pretty cool in the packaging, so with that being said, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it has a nice image of Jason, it says Freddy vs. Jason at the bottom. On the side, it has another image of Jason, it says Freddy vs. Jason again, and it has the NECA Toys logo at the bottom as well. On the back, move it up close, you see it says Freddy vs. Jason, it has a nice read up, it has nice product shots of Jason Voorhees. Okay, same image on the side. If I move it to the front, open it up, you see a nice product shot of Jason Voorhees and a nice window case showcasing the figure and all his accessories. Okay, you guys, that's the packaging. So now, let's take a look at the figure. Okay, you guys, before we take a look at the Jason figure, I wanted to take a look at some of the accessories he comes with. As you can see, he comes with a variety of accessories. He comes with seven in total, including the three masks, the two machetes, the flame effect, and the teddy bear. That being said, let's take a look at some of the accessories. Let's start with the machete first. Well, I would say the regular machete. As you can see, it has a nice silver dry brush with some black. Nice sculpt for the handle. And again, NECA Toys, as always, they always do a really, really good job with their attention to detail with these figures. Really, really nice, okay? Next is this uh, bloody machete, which is similar to the regular version. It just has the red for the blood. As you can see, the same, you know, silver and black up there. Handle sculpted the same way. Okay, really cool. Bring that close so you guys can see. Okay, really, really nice. Okay. Next, he comes with this flame effect right here, in which you could pour onto one of the machetes. Nice translucent yellow and orange. You can see the yellow at the bottom and it kind of blends in into this uh, orange right here. Nice sculpt for the flames. And while we're here, I can show you real quick. You could pour this onto this to kind of give it like that, you know, that, that effect like it's on, where are we at here? There we are. There you go. There, yep, there you go. So you could give it this effect like there's, you know, fire on the machete. Like in that one scene in the movie where, you know, he was battling uh, Freddy inside the cabin. Looking really nice. It's going to look really, really nice if you, you know, if you do photography. Really cool. Really, really cool. All right. Next, he comes with this teddy bear. And I can't remember what scene in the movie this teddy bear was in. But it looks really, really cool. And again, this movie came out like, I think it was 2003, I believe, this movie came out. You know, I, I enjoyed the movie when I was younger at that time. But, you know, it doesn't hold well now. <laughs> you watch it, it's like, you know, it's not, it's real cheesy. But, you know, it was good entertainment. So, you should see this teddy bear looks really, really cool. Nice sculpted, like, you can see the time of the, like, the plush here. Or the fur, or whatever. The eyes are sculpted in really nice and black. Nice brown with some black mixed in. Nice, nice teddy bear. And it's not articulated. None of the joints move or nothing like that. It doesn't bend. Really cool. All right. He comes with this uh, battle damage hockey mask. And you can see the, uh, you know, where Freddy, uh, Freddy Krueger um, slashed his mask. And these uh, scratches are sculpted in. They're not decoed in. Really nice, nice dirt effect for the mask. Like, you know, he's been wearing it for a long time and, you know, he's, you know, he's a corpse. So it looks really cool. Nice um, red decoed in with these lines. Holes look really cool as well. Really, really cool. If you move to the back, you can see the straps, nice black, nice silver for these uh, buckle pieces here. Really cool fix that really nice all right then he comes with uh the regular hockey mask in which he was wearing when before you know i opened the packaging again nice dirt effect for the mask nice decoed um lines the holes look pretty cool straps look the same same silver for the buckles really nice okay drop that <laughs> and then lastly he comes with this uh bloody hockey mask you see nice paint, 
like it's kind of like flowing down. I think this was the scene where Freddy like stabbed him in the eyes, like that last scene. And he was like, his whole mask was like filled with blood. That whole movie just had a lot of blood in it. It's kind of funny. But, you know, see a little bit of the dirt from the mask. And like I said, the straps are the same. These straps came in a bit bent, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, same silver. Yeah, really, really cool. So, oh, yeah. So he comes with a lot of accessories, which is a good thing. Let me uh, focus this camera so you guys could see. So there you go. So, yeah, he like I said, he comes with a lot, which is great exactly what you expect from a jason figure so yeah they're all pretty pretty cool and like i said you have a variety here to work with and you could recreate a bunch of scenes so yeah this is this is pretty cool all right you guys so those are the accessories so now let's take a look at the figure okay you guys so here's the jason figure out of the packaging looking really cool with some nice sculpted detail again neca toys always blows it out of the park with these figures Looking really nice. And for the sake of looking at all the details, we already looked at this hockey mask right here. So I'm going to remove this, which they are removable. So we could take a look at the head sculpt first. Let me zoom in there so you, we can see. And yeah, looking really cool. This head sculpt is amazing looking. You can see this nice black. It's just a bunch of colors mixed in brown and, you know, you know, all this uh, sculpted detail to, you know, to kind of give you the effect that, you know, he's a corpse, he's decayed, looking really nice. Eyes are all, you know, lump sided, he's like deformed, looking really cool. Let me zoom in closer so you guys get a better look. Looking really cool. And this is an option. You could display him this way as well without the hockey. I mean, I wouldn't, but, you know, this is really cool. See the teeth in there sculpted in, the lips. All these like wrinkles and like just dead skin is looking really nice see the ears sculpted in really nicely nice black with some white and some gray for these like little strands of hair that he has left nice like you see these nice lumps and these texture right here looking really gross really really nice effect and you know detail attention to detail that NECA does you know they do an awesome job as always and even on the neck area if you guys can see I know it's a it's a big dark it's a bit dark there but you know if you can see a bit you know you see all that those lines there looking really cool eyes painted really nice amazing amazing job looks really nice and moving down see all these his clothing all this dirt and wear and tear all these tears and all this it's just a lot of sculpted details There's a lot to look at on this figure which is awesome i wasn't a big fan of this design for jason i mean i was more of i'm more of a fan of the old design um i can't remember the actor that actually played him in this movie but i i was so used to um kane hodder playing jason i think that's you say his last name but he played jason for a lot of the movies like you know i think i'm um, you know i believe it was from jason jason um takes manhattan the new blood movie you know he played in a lot of the jason x he played jason in a lot of those movies so i was a big fan of his and his design but you know overall this figure looks great As you can see all these tears nice gray you know there's a lot of black wash everywhere so you know to highlight the the detail in the clothing all this all these tears and looking really nice this ripped pieces of clothing looking really cool see in the back looking really nice all these holes really really cool yeah i i you know it's there's so much to look at i hope i don't miss anything Again, there's just so much to look at this figure. And this is nice, soft rubber here, which you could kind of open. Not too much here, but you can see, I'm not sure if that's the figure itself. I believe it is, it's just like, you know, that's just regular plastic, you know, the regular mold. 
and then just right here, soft rubber right here, covering it up. It's okay. Um, even the inside is detailed. You can see really nice. Looking at the pants, nice texture for the pants. Nice rips here and just, just like a zombie, like a super strong zombie. So Jason is these nice wrinkles for the pants. Nice. I don't know if you guys can notice this gloss and it's like all over the figure. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, he's been, you know, he spends most of his time at Crystal Lake. So, you know, he's, you know, usually sometimes he's like a lot of his kills are in water, <laughs> You know, but in, so it gives you kind of the effect of him being, you know, you know, in the lake or whatever. You know, maybe he chased somebody in the lake and murdered somebody in the lake. See his boots sculpted really nicely. See the laces are sculpted in nice. Let me move that close so you guys can see that. Pretty cool. He has <laughs> high heels. It's like these big old heels here. I'm not sure if this is something they thought maybe the i mean i think the guy that played jason in this movie was pretty tall so i don't see why these were necessary but i, I mean maybe they wanted to make him a lot taller because this mofo was strong as hell in this movie and like i said the movie doesn't hold up well now i mean it was entertaining back then you know it was the first time we got to see uh two iconic horror movie monsters actually battle it out which was pretty cool and i was always been i always been a jason fan out of all like the horror movie monsters, he was like my favorite one. And you know, he, they, you know, he he was really strong in this movie. Like he was like super strong. So I think one of my favorite things about this movie was that they did uh they did like little press conferences like they do with the uh you know the boxing and the USC fights where they had them both kind of I don't know if you guys remember that, but they had like Little things where they, they had them talking, like trash talking. Well, Jason wasn't talk, but he had Freddy trash talking them and stuff. Freddy was pretty cool in the movie as well. But enough about that. Let's, you know, again, this detail alone is great. A lot of beautiful colors, are, you know, mixed in. Brown with some blacks, with some grays, with some blacks. I mean, I miss the hands. Again, the hands are sculpted nicely as well. He has some gloves on. Really nice. Nice wrinkles. You can see some of the veins for the hands in there. Really, really cool figure. Let me put his hockey mask back on because he wouldn't be Jason without it. His iconic hockey mask. Yeah, really, really happy with this figure. Looks really, really cool. Okay, while we're here, you know, let me remove this again so we could show everyone the articulation so we're going to start with the head his head does move side to side but he has like a doesn't have like a separate joint it's just like one whole joint on the neck area so his head moves side to side it does not pivot at all it does not look down uh yeah never mind i'm sorry it does look down and it does look up this much which is cool um, he does not have a butterfly joint in there, but his shoulder joints move out that far. And that's on both sides, which is really cool. And then he has single jointed elbows, which bend in that far. Really nice. And then his hands move up and down. They do move side to side. Let me get it to move. They do move side to side and they do rotate really nice he has a diaphragm joint in there that moves in that much and back a little he does have a waist swivel all right his hip joints move out that far he doesn't do a split but who's expecting jason to do a split not me all right which is fine and then he has single jointed elbow, um, knees. No um upper thigh cut, but he does have single jointed knees that don't bend in far at all. Um, no calf rotation. His uh, ankles do rotate. They do move up. It's a little bit stiff there. 
they do move up not a lot they don't move up at all and then move down that far they do rotate he has somewhat of an ankle pivot in there i mean i'm I mean, I, I don't know if you could call it an ankle pivot, but he, I mean, I, I want to say, yeah, he does have one. So, yeah, you know, limited articulation on this figure. But again, I don't expect a Jason figure to have too much articulation. I mean, maybe Freddy, because, again, Freddy in this movie was more that um, athletic, if you want to say, you know, he was like really going to town on Jason in this movie. But I mean, yeah, Jason won in my opinion, but, you know, he was really going to town. So that would be a figure that I would say I would expect a little more articulation, but not Jason. Jason's more of a powerhouse character. And, you know, if you a fan of the Friday the 13th movies or anything, you remember these movies. It's always, it's just full-blown power with this guy. And that's what he had in this movie. But, yeah, overall, this is a amazing-looking figure. Like, I really like this figure. Really, really nice sculpted detail. Or I'm telling you, like, even if the articulation is not there, like, the look itself just makes up for it. Really, really cool. So, while I'm here, I'm going to just show you guys how he looks with the other hockey mask. Here's the battle damage hockey mask. All right. And here's the bloody hockey mask. Let me that in there and again this back piece right here is a big bend but here's the bloody hockey mask and that's how he looks really cool yeah really awesome figure guys really awesome figure neko you did a fantastic job all right okay okay you guys so that was my review of the freddy versus jason jason Voorhees figure by neko toys and what can i say guys this figure is freaking amazing the attention to detail, the sculpt, the accessories, and he comes with a lot of accessories. I'm telling you, this figure is amazing. Definitely a 10 for me. I wasn't a big fan in the movie of the design of Jason, but you know, I mean, the way it translates into figure form, I think this figure is freaking amazing. I have no complaints about it. If you don't own this figure, go buy yourself this figure. If you can find him for a reasonable price, buy him. This figure is great. Nice addition to your collection, especially if you're a horror movie fan or a Friday the 13th fan. Great figure. The articulation was a bit limited, but again, I don't expect Jason to have some dynamic poses. This is a powerhouse. So overall, great figure. And as always, guys, if you want to show your boy some love, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when my figures are coming up. I thank you for all the support. I thank you for all the new subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time.